Hi, Al. Uh, today I thought I'd just give you a little preview of something I've been working on. Um, I recently, in a discussion, some people were asking if there wasn't a way of getting some modern tools in Access. Um, modern day date pickers, time pickers, things like that. Now, I've tried to go down that route, and I'll just show you a couple quick examples that you can find online. I'm sure you're aware of these. You've seen this. You see these on your iPads, your tablets, on your phones, etc. Um, we have, if you look here, these nifty things and you click on them, you can spin and change the years very easily. Same thing with the months. And graphically too, visually, uh, in HTML, the CSS is much more appealing, and you can also change it by changing one line instantaneously. You can change the look and feel of your date time picker. Another example would be this guy here. You've got your date here, and you've got your time here, and you just go about it, and you get your date time at the same time. So that's what I was, my ultimate goal was to achieve. Now, um, actually, I should bring that back up for a second to show you where the issue lies. And the issue lies right in this sentence. And this is very common for most of the web tools. Um, it is not supported in IE 11. And realistically, uh, what we have through the web browser is IE 11. So where does that leave us? Well, that leaves us with some tools that do exist. So here's a demo that I put together using jQuery's UI library. And this is just a simple date picker, but just to illustrate the principle. And you come here and you have access here. You can change the month, you can change the year. You come in and make your pick. 1970, April 16th. And when you reopen it, it brings you back to that date. So. It's a fully functional example demo to illustrate it can be done. We can use certain tools as long as we get tools currently that are compatible with IE 11. And I'm not going to go into all the details. I will be writing up an article about this. But basically, this is the code behind it. And the bulk of this, this here, is I didn't want to be dragging around an HTML file, although realistically it changes nothing because I have to drag around the libraries. Um, as you see up here, the jQuery libraries and the CSS file also to customize it. And let me just demonstrate that to you. We can comment out this guy and I will switch over to this CSS instead. And now, when I open it up, the look and feel is completely different. I've changed my CSS file. So by editing a single line, and you can make this a parameter that your user could pick and read it out of a table, you can very easily go and change the look, the style, the size, the font, whatever the case may be that you're looking for, the look and feel. But in two seconds, you've completely changed your date picker. And you can go from simple to fancy, as you can see, by commenting on commenting a line. You also have the ability to change the size, the font, like I said, in one line. I can change the font. The, it's very easy to customize. And uh, But this is the bulk of it. There, there really isn't much to it. And this is the call that my buttons do. Your button, you call it, you tell it to which control you want the date to be associated with. It opens the form, and it just waits until it returns the value. And when it has a value, it commits it to the control that was specified when it was called. It is very simple to do, and it works. So all of this to say that this is a proof of concept that we can use more modern day tools whether it be just this date picker. I've done the color picker before where I used an HTML color picker for that as well. The abilities that we have do exist if we're a little bit creative and think outside the box. That's it. The ultimate goal, obviously, is to end up having 
tools like this, where we can interact and think of touch screen, how useful this would be. So this should be possible. And I say should because I haven't been able to test it out yet. When the new web browser control comes out, um, so when I'm assuming the MS365 will be the one that gets it and possibly the Office, uh, I don't know what version will be coming out next, 2023, 2024, 2025, whatever the next version of Access, hopefully we'll have that integrated as well. And then we'll be able to truly use the brand new and more modern day looks. Um, but this is a clear proof of concept that we will, we can import tools like that. We can modernize things and ultimately we can make it so simple to change all the parameters by simply changing, flicking a switch on a line of code. And these, like I said, can become parameters in a table that your user can then just control through a form. And then it changes the look and feel throughout their entire database. So just something to ponder a little bit. And um, I hope this inspires you guys to come up with new ways of doing things and empowering your tools and making them, you know, more user friendly and uh, pull them out of the 80s a little bit. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you're able to share it amongst your networks on your website, be greatly appreciated. Take care, guys. We'll see you in the next video.